Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you a quick but very helpful tip on what to do when selection follows playhead does not work in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go! So if you have the selection follows playhead already enabled in the sequence menu up here, as you can see I have got it enabled. If I would disable it, there would be no check mark here. But since there is a check mark here, you can see that it is enabled. And normally how it works, if I would have, for example, a few cuts here on the timeline, when I'm playing video and then I press stop, it highlights the clip where the playhead stopped. If you don't have the selection follows playhead enabled in the sequence menu, then if you stop the playhead, it would not select the clip where the playhead stopped and you would have to select it manually, which could be annoying if you have a lot of through edits and then you have to choose them manually. But in case you have the selection follows playhead enabled, and the clip is not automatically selected, there is one tip that I would like to share with you today. So let's go ahead and try it out right now. So as you can see, I'm going to start it from the beginning. I have this clip enabled, then I'm going to play, and then I'm going to stop it. And as you can see, it still has not selected the clip where the play has, has stopped. I have to select it manually, even though in the sequence menu, the selection follows playhead is enabled. And the problem is actually over here. As you can see here, the video track number one and audio track number one are not selected. And on the video track number two and audio track number two, there is no footage at all, so there is nothing to select. And Adobe Premiere Pro is looking at these active channels so that the selection follows playhead is focusing on these active tracks. If the track is not active, even though it's on a timeline, Adobe Premiere Pro still does not select it. This is why it doesn't matter if you have the selection follows playhead enabled or disabled, it will not select it at all. But if I enable video track number one and audio track number one, then if I stop it anywhere, it will automatically select that clip where the playhead has stopped. So yeah, there you have it guys. I hope you find this helpful. I know this is a quick tip, but sometimes that's all you need. And I hope this video will be helpful too. If you find it helpful, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, you can go ahead and check out my other Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. And I'm going to have a lot more coming soon. So I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.